Hey, if it like YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Dead Man's Chest. Okay, before I start this episode, I just want to take this opportunity just now to thank all of the subscribers um, for your support this last uh, couple of months. You know, absolutely amazing. Um, as most of you know, I had an accident at work, and um, yeah, it's, it's it's been tough, but I'm getting through it. Uh, in regards to my broken ribs, they're healing well. Um, I'm no longer on morphine, I'm on other painkillers, but I'm more mobile, I can move about more, which is good. Um, I just kind of lift heavy things yet, so but that'll come, that'll come. Um, the only thing I, I, need to, I need to sort is my head, it's kind of messed up, but um, I'm not going to bore I'm not going to bore you with that, it's uh, um, just something I'm going to get sorted out myself, but I'm getting getting help with that, so that's fine. Um, now, in regards to the tank, tank's doing really good, no complaints, uh, no problems. I um, have made a couple of changes, so I'll share that with you just now, and uh, yep, so enjoy. Okay, so I thought it was about time that I added some more cleanup crew. In the bags I've got six dwarf blue leg hermit crabs, uh, about six Nasari snails, six Austria spiny snails, and a Halloween hermit. So just drip acclimating, and of course everything has to be diesel inspected and passed. <laughs> So I've got a cleaner shrimp as well, um, that's these dwarf leg hermit crabs, they're ready to go in. And I just have like a, a steady drip, you don't want it to be too slow otherwise the water ends up getting really cold. And to hold my light air line in place I used one of these clips that I used for the DIY glass lids, but I don't need that anymore so this is really handy and you can just adjust the, the level as needed. Okay, so hermits are in. I'm just going to get the cleaner shrimp in now. Just going to grab him here. Doesn't know what to let go. <laughs> Come on, off you go. He's <laughs> just busy giving my finger a clean. Come on man, off you get. <laughs> get off! Clean fish will take you for lunch if you don't get off, come on. There he goes. Where is he? There we go, one cleaner shrimp. I was going to add two, but I think I'll maybe just stick with the one. Okay, so I've added the spiny ostrea snails. Now, the ostrea snails are no like trochus snails that can turn themselves up easy enough. So I just use this little hand grabber. You get them for uh, out of the pound shop. Um, they're just for can, people that are struggling to bend over and pick things up. Um, dead sheep, you get it for a pound. And uh, it does the job like... I've had this one for ages, um, if it gets knockered it's easy enough to replace and it works just as good as those really expensive brand ones. So I'll just pick up these spiny snails now. I could upright them and just leave them in the sun but you're as well just picking them up and putting them to work on the areas that you want them to work on. So I know that I've got a wee bit of algae over to the right hand side here so I'm going to stick most of them up one of this right side, just to get stuck into that. Release, Release the Kraken. 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 <laughs> right, so that reactor I had with the amount of hoses and the length of hosing on it was like a blooming cracking. It was just doing my head in, so I made the decision to remove it. So it's now gone. I've just got a couple bits of 
rocks left over in there. I've added a bag of carbon into that wee DIY box that I made there. And I've gave the skimmer a good strip down, cleaned it all out, and uh, it's working perfect. No problems. And it's still producing as much stuff as it did. Yeah, so the bio pellet reactor has been off the tank now for a good couple of weeks and the parameters are still all spot on. Nitrate's exactly where it should be, same with phosphates. And to be honest, I've had those bio pellets running the whole time and they've never reduced in size and I've never had to top them up, which kind of tells me that they're not actually being used. The system's coping with the, the load that's on it as it is um, and that's not needed, so I took it off. I might add it again once I get more fish and the, the bio load is increased. Maybe it will struggle then, but in the t for the time being, I'm just gonna stick with how it is. And if need be, I'll get a smaller reactor that's more appropriate for the size of this tank. Um, and you maybe noticed in the last episode, a few new additions. So I'll just go over some of them just now. So I got some new zoanthids. Uh, I got some tango zoanthids. I got these bam bams. Um, Valentine's Day Massacre um, and I got this orange Recordia mushroom uh, it's pretty cool it's like bright orange with blue and little highlights of green in it really nice under the actinics um, and I, I've never really been a fan of Recordias or mushrooms but uh, I am kind of getting into them now and this is a green Acropora it's doing pretty good And behind that, that's uh, the purple style, but you've seen that from a previous episode. One thing I wanted to show you guys was uh, the pink Monty, the red Monty. Um, it's starting to grow and it's starting to curl and cup up at the sides there, so that's awesome. I'm uh, really happy it's down low because if I had this high up, this thing would probably be <laughs> a good 100 mil around already. Uh, one of the hermit crabs doing his thing. You can just see in the background there the Valentine's Day massacre as we wanted. Um, but yeah, get the work son, keep going. <laughs> and just right at the very top you'll see the tangos, nearly a good picture though. Duncans continue to thrive, um, more and more heads coming all the time and the thing keeps chopping and changing shape. If Scarlet would get out the blooming road like, Jesus, <laughs> a camera hog. <laughs> Look at me, I'm so beautiful. Look at me. <laughs> Alright, so yep, Duncan, as you know, Duncan Coral is still my favourite. Um, absolutely love this thing. Under the actinics as well, gorgeous. Although a close second is this maze coral. This thing is absolutely, I love it. Really cool. And when it's feeding tentacles is out, it just changes its shape altogether. Really, really nice. I hope it grows really well. I hope it grows in a nice big ball and eventually grows right over that whole plate that it's on, that whole ledge, that'd be cool. So, cleaner shrimp, um, still undecided, I might actually get another one, um, so he's got a buddy. Um, because I will be hoping to add a, maybe a yellow tongue or a cold tongue uh, at some stage. Um, so it'd be kind of cool to have maybe a couple of these guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it, that's... Uh, the tank, um, it's, everything's going fine. Um, physically, I'm doing pretty good. I'm able to, to move about now. Um, I'm not as bedridden as I was. I obviously kind of lift heavy, heavy things, but um, doing little little simple maintenance tasks on the tank's no problem for me just now, so that's good. Um, and that little island that I was on about, I'm on about thinking about getting green star pops and just getting that totally covered. Um, just make use of that rock as opposed to just stick it in the sump. Um, I might still do that, like, but we'll see. Um, just see what happens. But, yep, that's pretty much it for this episode. So, just like to thank you for all the support this last few weeks. Um, you guys are amazing. Um, thank you to all the subscribers. And, uh, yep, cheers, guys. Until the next time, bye-bye.